these are the certifications I earned this year and I thought maybe I can inspire you to do the same. Hello Ethical Hackers, today I will go through the Red Team training courses and certifications I took this year. If you would like to pursue a career in Red Teaming, this is for you. Earlier this year, I announced my plan to pass several Red Team certifications. Although I didn't follow my project to the letter, I'm happy with my achievements so far. And I want to share my progress with you so that you can benefit from it. Hey, if you love computer hacking and you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. All right, let's get into it. First of all, let me tell you why I chose to pursue a career in red teaming. Until recently, I was doing different kinds of penetration testing assessments. I hacked web applications, internal and wireless networks, mobile applications, APIs, etc. You know, the usual pen testing stuff. I have enjoyed finding vulnerabilities and reporting them to my clients and helping them become more secure. However, I found myself stuck in a limited scope time and time again. I didn't have the privilege of pivoting through a compromised machine and breaching other targets because they fell out of scope. I also couldn't breach the perimeter of my client's infrastructures through, let's say, phishing. Those tactics are not usually part of penetration testing. However, if you look into any threat intelligence report, they are classic among real threat actors. And I really wanted to perform the same for my clients. Therefore, my desire to follow a red team career seemed natural. Unfortunately, due to the nature of these engagements, it is not easy to just spin up a virtual machine or play CTFs. I needed serious training to kickstart my red teaming career. I didn't just pick any certification out there. I had several criteria in mind to help me cherry pick the best red teaming training courses. The first criteria I'm seeking in any certification is hands-on training. I believe that we learn by practicing, especially in cybersecurity. I don't like spending hours reading lengthy courses full of theory. Don't get me wrong, I love reading books. But I believe that getting certified is not like just reading a book. Therefore, the certification I am willing to tackle should have hands-on training in a practical lab. Secondly, the course content is the next element I'm looking for when choosing a certification. It has to cover the topics I'm looking for. In the case of threat teaming, the ideal course would cover the different tactics and techniques used by threat actors. Some technologies should be covered as well, such as Active Directory, maybe DevOps or Kubernetes, etc. Nowadays, most companies use Active Directory to manage their infrastructure. Therefore, it does not make sense to pay for a course that does not cover that. The next criteria in the list is the support team. I'm looking for a reasonable response time with actually satisfying answers. Additionally, I'm also looking for efficient communication channels. For instance, Real-time chat would be better than email. If there is a community, that would be even better. And one of the main criteria is the exam. I really dislike multiple choice questions in cybersecurity certifications. I want to earn my certification by successfully attacking a network using what I've learned in the lab. Hence, the exam should be hands-on. It should be challenging, invite the candidate to think outside the box, and allow enough time, including break time. Ideally, a report should be required be because, you know, it makes a difference, a big difference in the professional world. It's not just about you hacking, but delivering a pr professional report to your clients. Of course, having all of the above is good, but delivering them is also a crucial criterion. It would be a pity to have a great lab full of hacking techniques only to experience repetitive connection losses or slow machines. And finally, let's talk about the price. I left it at the end. I don't mind if it's expensive, to be honest, as long as it matches the previous criteria. However, if one certification offers the same while being cheaper, I would naturally choose it. All right, with that in mind, let's dig into the different certifications I took. The Certified Red Team Professional Certification comes from Pentester Academy. 
Its name can be misleading since the course content is focused on Active Directory, not rate teaming. However, it is the best certification for entry-level Active Directory hacking. It touches upon rate teaming on some parts of the course, but it's far from enough. I didn't plan to tackle the certification because I thought I knew how to attack Active Directory, but looking at the syllabus, I just realized I know only a few things. So I decided to take the certification. That way, I get a solid foundation of Active Directory hacking, and I really didn't regret my choice. The course content comes in both PDF and videos. Personally, I was satisfied with their quality. However, the videos could have been edited better. The lab is stable and available throughout the time package you buy. It is accessible either from your web browser or using RDP, and it is meant to be a companion of the course. In fact, the course and the videos explain the concepts by applying them in the practical lab. The support is based on email and you receive replies within several hours. The answers are usually satisfactory. There's also a Discord server which I believe is maintained by the community, not Pentester Academy itself. For 249 for the 30-day package, I think it's an accessible certification. And I believe you don't really need to buy more than that. The exam is based on a lab of five machines. You have to compromise at least four of them using the techniques you have learned from the course. Besides, a professional report should be written and sent to Pentester Academy. And once you pass the exam, you receive a verifiable certification to share with your network. If you'd like to know more about this certification, feel free to watch the video. All right, let's talk about CRTE. Since I've enjoyed CRTP, I didn't hesitate to take this certification. However, I was a bit disappointed. The certified red team expert is also from Pentester Academy. And like CRTP, this supposedly red team in training certification focuses on Active Directory only. It comes with the same course, the same lab size, the same support, the same exam requirement, yet it is more expensive. So what's really the difference here? The only difference is the lab's difficulty. In fact, firewall rules prevent direct access to most of the servers. There's a hardened jump server that should be compromised first. Other than that, I didn't notice any difference. So I was a bit disappointed to pay for an entire certification package and only get to practice in a slightly hardened lab. If you'd like to know more about this certification, I made a video about it. You can check it out. The Pentester Academy Certified Enterprise Security Specialist is a, another certification from Pentester Academy. A mouthful name, yeah. It covers advanced topics in Active Directory hacking. Most of the technologies discussed during the course can be found in enterprise-level environments. The course content is almost the same as the CRTP course, with a few additional videos covering the new concepts. Although I was skeptical because of my previous experience with CRTP, RTE, I still took this certification thanks to one factor, the huge lab. It is comprised of seven or eight forests. You can imagine the number of vulnerabilities you will be playing with. It took me two months to go through it. The access was stable during the entire time. If I learned one thing from this lab, it would be enumeration. The support here is no different than the others. The exam was different though. In fact, 50% was about compromising five servers inside the lab, while the other 50 required patching those vulnerabilities you found. Additionally, you would have to send a detailed report describing your steps to compromise and fix the lab. This one is the most expensive among the three Pentester Academy courses, but I think it's still valuable if we consider the lab size and the patching aspect in the exam. If you'd like to know more about this certification, I made a dedicated video for it, so check it out. It was mid-August, I guess, and I was planning to take OSEP, but I didn't have enough time. With the planned holidays ahead, it would be very challenging to tackle such a thick red teaming training under three months. That's when Rastamouse offered me access to his course as part of a sponsorship collaboration. The certified red team operator certification comes from Zero Point Security. It covers the tactics, techniques, and procedures used during a red teaming engagement to emulate 
a real threat actor. I thought it would be great to still take another raid team in training before the end of the year and I was happy I took this. The course content is hosted on an online platform composed of modules that cover the building blocks of raid team engagements from start to finish. Overall, the content of each module is good. Some even contain videos. However, other modules such as reporting lack some details. But what's good about this certification is its lifetime access to the course content and its future updates. The lab is an Active Directory environment that contains all sorts of vulnerabilities discussed in the course. It is limited in time, one hour to be precise. If you run out of time, which you would, you'd have to purchase additional hours. You can only access the lab using your web browser to prevent stealing COBOL Strike. Currently, there is a Discord server where you can interact with the community and the creator of the certification, Daniel Duggan, also known as Rasta Mouse. If you run into technical issues in the lab, you can drop a message and hope someone answers you. The exam is an Active Directory environment that resembles the lab. You have to collect the flags you find along the way and you pass when you submit 6 out of 8 flags. No reporting is required. When you succeed, you receive a verifiable badge of accomplishment in the following days. I particularly enjoyed the exam because I could combine multiple attack vectors to compromise the external forest. If you have experience in penetration testing and active directory hacking, you don't need more than a month to accomplish the lab. Combined with the life access to the course content, I think that the price of this certification is reasonable. If you'd like to know more about this certification, feel free to watch the video. Alright, I hope you found this content helpful. Regarding my redeeming journey, my next move would be to get certified OSEP. Make sure to subscribe to get notified when I give you my feedback. And don't hesitate to drop me a comment below if you have additional questions regarding those red team certifications I talked about. Also, let me know if you know any other ones that match my criteria. I would be more than happy to see your suggestions. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs. <laughs>